Hey guys, Jeff here for besttechie.com. Today, I have an awesome new gadget in um, from a company called Promise. They make various different types of storage uh, devices. This is the Pegasus 3 R6, meaning it has six drives that you can install. And the reason I got this actually is that they just came out with, on their website, you can now build your own Pegasus 3 and they have an R4, an R6, and R8 model. I have the R6 here. As you can see down here, we have eight terabytes of SSD storage built in and 20 terabytes of hard drive storage built in, unconfigured, meaning it's not set up in, in any RAID configuration at the moment. The Pegasus 3 also, uh, also is Thunderbolt 3 enabled. Um, so that means you get the fastest up to 40 gigabits per second in terms of Thunderbolt 3 speeds transferring. This particular model, the Pegasus 3 R6, is capable of a few different RAID levels, um, including RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10, RAID 50, and also a JBOD or just, just, just drives essentially, uh, just a bunch of drives is what JBOD stands for. So that just means it's not an array configuration. It's essentially just all the drives separately. They, again, they sent me um, four, I believe, two terabyte uh, SSDs for a total of eight terabyte of SSD storage, and then two ten, uh, two ten terabyte uh, hard drives. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to configure this just yet because I want to make sure I get the best possible speed, obviously, uh, which means if I was going to set up a RAID with it, I wouldn't set it up with a RAID with the hard drives in. I would just use the SSD. So I'm going to play around with it for, during the review to test out different solutions. But let's get this unboxed, shall we? So right off the bat, we take out uh, here. We have uh, Let's see, we have just a cardboard box. Probably just a bunch of cables, perhaps. And uh, some documentation, it looks like. So it has a couple cables. Looks like, uh, looks like we have here a Thunderbolt 3 cable and some documentation, which we'll go through later. Also, a power cable is in there. Put that aside. So now we get to the actual device, and they packed it in here nice and good. Clearly, that's important when you're dealing with storage, because you don't want it to bounce around and, you know, especially when it's uh, when it's hard drives, platter-based drives, you don't want them to break in transit. So here, let's, uh, let's see how we can get this out of here. So there it is, out of its box, the Pegasus 3 by Promise Technology. And as you can see, it has a six drive base. Here is um, the bottom driveway. In order to open it, you just hit the, the pop-out button, then you can just pull. And as you can see here, we have an, a Seagate, Seagate Iron Wolf 10 terabyte drive already located in that bottom drive bay. Let's check out the other ones. That one's, This one's probably also a Seagate. Uh, Iron Wolf, yep, as expected. This should be a solid state drive, or not. <laughs> See, you never know. This one, oh yes, there is a solid state drive in there, my bad. There it is. Um, that is a two and a half, it's a Micron solid state drive. Two and a half inch solid state drive, so that is in there. Let's check that, did I miss it in here? Oh yeah, it is in there. There we go. My bad. And then we should have, yep. So it's e as you can see, it's easy to replace these. Uh, they come with standard drive bays, but you can easily mount a solid state drive in here. As you can see, it's easy to take out as well. Just screw it in on the little screw holes. Very, very straightforward. Mounting them is super easy. Again, multiple RAID configurations here that you have access to. And then I'll just turn it around. As you can see, it has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, power as well on the Kensington lock. These can actually be daisy chained. I'll double check the amount that you can actually daisy chain up to theirs. I believe it's around six to eight or so, which is pretty awesome. So you can have multiple of these. Again, this is the RX6 model and Look, it's a lot, actually, it's frankly, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, uh, which is nice. I, I plan to probably have it seated on the on my floor and then have run the cable up to my, my iMac Pro. Um, but we'll see what ends up happening uh, in terms of the actual final configuration and in terms of how I configure the RAID setup as well. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been BestTechie.com, and I am Jeff Weisspine, and I'll see you next time. And remember, remember, take care of your computers. And if you like this video and want more like it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the future.